This is Code Academy. I'm working on Introduction to JavaScript, and I'm at the Conditional Statements portion of the course. If I go down here, I'm on part seven of that. If I go down here, learn how, oh, Conditional Statements lesson, right? And I've been through all of these. We're way down here at seven. Truthy and falsy statements. Falsy assignments. Ooh, more advanced than six. Assignments. Let's see what we're working on here. Truthy and falsy evaluate evaluations open a world of shorthand possibilities. Say you have a website and want to take a user's username to make a personalized greeting. Sometimes the user does not have an account, making the username variable falsy. I, I just kind of like saying that. The code below checks if the username is defined, so if it exists, and assigns a default string if it does not. So let default name, if username, if their name exists, it's going to set default name to their name. Otherwise, it's going to just use the word stranger as their name. If you combine your knowledge of logical operators, you can use a shorthand for the code above. In a Boolean condition, JavaScript assigns the truthy value to a variable if you use the or or operator in your assignment. Let default equals username or or stranger. And this is kind of trippy, but this is going to do the same thing. And look how short it is. Magic. Because or 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 statements check the left hand condition first, the variable default name will be assigned the actual value of username if it is truthy, but it will be assigned the value of stranger if the username is falsy. This concept is also referred, referred to as short circuit evaluation which makes sense because it's much shorter. So what it does here, it does not, it does not make default name equal username or statement stranger. No, 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 no. If username has been declared, so if I wrote let username equal me, Mr. Geyser, as a teacher, that's me. If I wrote that, it's going to create, and then right under that, I wrote this. I'm gonna copy it just to give you the example and paste it. If I wrote that and right under it wrote this, when I run this, username default name will equal username, which is my name because it's defined. It's there. However, if this didn't exist or if it did, but it's empty, it's going to put in stranger as instead. Okay. So let's see what we're going on to. This kind yep. Let's use short circuit evaluation to assign a value to writing utensil. Do not edit tool yet. Okay. Yet, we'll return to tool in the next step. Assign the writing utensil the value of tool, and if tool is falsy, ooh, okay, wait. I'm going to start here. Assign writing utensil value of tool. Oh, and look, they have these comments here that help. Bit of instruction. The value of tool. And if tool is falsy, assign it the default value of pen. Okay, well, that's what I'm doing up here. If username is falsy, if there's no username, it assigns it this default name. So I want to do what they did. I'm going to do or, or, and then our default value was pen. And let's go ahead and close that off. And again, this is the same thing as writing all of this out, just with different values. Okay, assign, yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's hit run. It's going to check it. And we're moving onward. Notice that the text, the pin is mightier than the sword, logged to the council. Yep. Which means the value of writing utensil right now is pin, because it's writing it using this. What if you reassign the value of tool to marker? Let's see what happens to the value of writing utensil. Okay. So they want me to make it marker. Let's check it out. The marker is mightier than the sword. Hmm. That's a unique quote, right? And so instead of making it pin, it gets to here. It says, oh, tool equals marker. That's a truthy statement. It doesn't even run the rest of this. It doesn't need to because or stops when it hits true. It hits true. So it now assigns this to marker. If it didn't, it would say or, okay, and it will do that. Great, let's keep going.